It will probably take longer than they think, but eventually all cars will be self-driving. The hardest thing to copy is Tesla's manufacturing technology, so this is actually very important for the long term. Tesla is working on a general solution for self-driving cars that isn't specific to any one city or location. This is because different cities and states have different rules. So some places will Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla, has made an amazing statement. Tesla's computing power is no longer limited by hardware issues. But what does this mean for the future of Tesla and technology in general? We're about to find out from raising the bar for fully autonomous driving with cutting edge improvements to full self-driving technology to showing how Optimus could change everything. The implications of this monumental breakthrough are nothing short of amazing. So buckle up and get ready to be amazed as we delve deep into the implications of this game-changing news. Come with us as we look into the untapped opportunities. Break down the new technologies and imagine the amazing future that's yet to come. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. The news about Tesla stock is just beginning. Stay tuned. Elon Musk recently shared some interesting information about Tesla's progress in AI. Basically, Tesla's AI team has gotten around the problems that came up with limited computing power. But what does this mean for the future? Let's break it down. According to M. Shock, Ellis Swamy and Robert Skoll say that dealing with difficult situations in the real world, like navigating construction sites, requires more than just basic geometry skills. Also requires semantic understanding, which goes beyond just interpreting visual data. To put it more simply, it's about understanding the scene, not just its shapes. Let's look at a video clip that Jackson shared that shows Tesla's full self-driving powers. Tesla's version 12 software handles a construction site with amazing ease. When experts saw this, they couldn't help but be amazed. The car smoothly moves around objects, reads signs, changes lanes, and adjusts to new situations all without any help from a person. This shows Tesla's innovative end-to-end -end neural network architecture. The system, which is trained only on data and doesn't have any hard-coded rules, lets the car handle new challenges well. It's basically like teaching a car to understand its surroundings by letting it learn from experience instead of just following set instructions. Tesla's breakthrough shows how important semantic understanding is in AI. It's not enough to just handle visual information. AI needs to understand it, build internal models, and make smart decisions based on that understanding. In a recent discussion, the idea of joint embedded predictive architecture was explored by Yan Lan as a possible way to get around the problems that come up when trying to plan for the future, especially when it comes to tricky situations like getting through work zones. It's all about going beyond what's possible. A very important point is made clear by Elon Musk. Smart cars need more than just sensors to work. It's about intelligence. So we already have what I think is the fourth or third most powerful computing center in the world for AI training. It uses a huge number of GPUs and other powerful hardware. So our first goal with OHO is to make it competitive and better at training neural networks than a bunch of GPUs, though some argue for making it stronger. Musk says that what really counts is the intelligence of the person behind the wheel. James DMA adds to the talk and says that software, not hardware, is the real problem. Elon Musk adds that hardware does have its limits, but here's the catch. Getting to level five autonomy might not even be the end goal. Level four autonomy, where the car can handle most situations on its own, with some limitations due to geography and weather, seems to be more realistic. The Good Place. Chuck Cook agrees with Musk that better placement of cameras would improve visibility. And he also suggests that hardware changes like high-definition radar could be made. What's the point? Even though technological progress is exciting, there are still problems to solve. Elon's honesty about hardware limitations 
is a welcome recognition of reality. Now for some good news from Robert Scobble, a real AI official. He's singing the praises of Tesla's AI, calling it underrated. He had two AI founders in his car as it drove through San Francisco. If you have a friend with a fully self-driving car, let them know. Beg them to take you for a spin, and why not beg Robert too? Elon Musk says that if you think someone is competing with Tesla, and Elon says that a huge 99% of people have no idea how smart Tesla's AI is, so good for you for being in the 1%. That's the boring part over. Now for the exciting part, Elon drops a bombshell. The rate of improvement is about to skyrocket now that they're not limited by AI training compute limits. What does this mean? It's like opening a floodgate. In terms of computing power, Tesla probably has a bunch of H100 SEO from NVIDIA, but it's not as simple as putting them in and being done. There's a lot of building and cooling infrastructure that goes into it. Talk about it. Software, communications, anything else. Even though it's a complicated process, it looks like Tesla is making progress. First, there's the energy grid. To keep their computers running smoothly, Tesla needs to make sure they have a strong and reliable power supply. This includes upgrading power grids and installing backup generators to make sure there are no interruptions in service. Then, there's the cooling infrastructure. With so much computing power being produced, heat management is very important. Tesla must deploy sophisticated cooling systems to ensure that their hardware stays within optimal operating temperatures, maximizing efficiency and longevity. And let's not overlook the importance of communications infrastructure in today's interconnected, world seamless communication between different components is crucial. Tesla must invest in high-speed networking technologies to facilitate rapid data transfer and collaboration between their computing resources and last, but certainly not least, there's the software side of things, developing the software stack that, that orchestrates this complex computing environment is no small feat. It requires a team of skilled engineers working tirelessly to optimize performance, enhance security, and ensure compatibility with Tesla's unique requirements. But despite the daunting challenges, Tesla is making remarkable strides with their relentless focus on innovation and their unparalleled expertise in pushing the boundaries of technology. They're paving the way for a future where computational constraints are a thing of the past. They've likely got some dojo chips in the mix too. Although updates on that front have been scarce lately, but with this influx of computing power, they can ramp up training runs at lightning speed. Now for those not familiar with the ins and outs of neural networks, here's the deal. End-to-end -end training is all about one huge network with billions of 